Miglia, and I am a faculty member for Level 1 Fundamentals of Sponsor Programs Administration. This is the first course related to the traveling workshops that you can participate in as an INCURA member. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about a proposal development area, and I'm talking about the RFP. So what is the RFP? The RFP is a request for proposal. And that comes at many different terminologies or nomenclature. It could be a solicitation, it could be a program announcement, it could be a request for quote. But that RFP is a key component of any aspect of proposal development. Why is it that way? Well, these are the documents that an agency or a sponsor puts out that includes all the information you're going to need and a faculty member is going to need when they're putting together a proposal. The very first part I always tell people is always look at the eligibility first. That is the most important key because you can have a faculty member that gets really excited about an opportunity and find out that your institution's not eligible. Maybe educational institutions aren't eligible. Maybe it's limited to faculty at a career level that is junior career faculty and a senior faculty member is looking at it going, I want to submit to this. So the very first thing I always say is look at that eligibility component in the RFP. The next thing is, well, if you are eligible, that's great. When is it due? Because that is really going to be a main driver in how much time and effort is going to be put into putting the proposal together, the people that have to be pulled in, the components that have to be reviewed, the approvals that are needed. That deadline day, although it's not always followed as well as it should be, that's also going to be a key component. And then everything else, when I think of the RFP, I think of a document um, that is kind of the Bible of proposal development. That is going to tell you from the sponsor what their goal is, what the, they're looking for in putting this out and making sure that what you're going to propose aligns with the goals of that agency. It's going to tell you how things are going to be reviewed. It's usually going to tell you how much money they're putting into this program, how many anticipated awards are going to be made, Sometimes it's going to reflect about how much an award will be. It will also give or point you in the right direction to guidance as to how your proposal should be written. If it's an electronic system, how many pages you can upload, even things as small or what people would consider as small as the importance of a font size and why you should be limited to a specific font size to not be given an improper advantage over somebody who follows the guidance that you don't. The other thing that's important about the RFP is it shows how well you follow directions when you're submitting a proposal. If you clearly miss a number of things that the RFP reflects, it's really not, it's, in my opinion, it reflects very poorly on the individual and the people who help that individual put together a proposal. So I always tell people, review that document, then go back, review it again with a highlighter if you're printing it out and you're going to kind of do that non-computer way. But I also highlight it thing on the computer when I'm working with faculty and bring certain things out there for them to see. So take away from this, RFP, request for proposal, important document. Come join us for fundamentals and learn some more. Thanks.